What does someone mean when they refer to the inverse transform, the inversal Poisson transform? Well, that's really nothing more than asking where something comes from. Where does 1 over s minus 2 come from? Come from with respect to the Laplace transform. In other words, what should I take the transform of to get 1 over s minus 2? Or you could write it this way. Inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s minus 2 equals what? Well, we know that e to the 2t has transformed 1 over s minus 2. So the Laplace inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s minus 2 is e to the 2t. But you could manipulate that if you had maybe some other constant, say 4 over s minus 2, but that's just 4 times 1 over s minus 2, and 1 over s minus 2 comes from e to the 2t. So where does 4 over s minus 2 come from? It must come from 4 times e to the 2t. The inverse Laplace transform of 3 factorial over s to the fourth is t cubed, because that's the transform of t cubed, 3 factorial over s to the fourth. So if I saw another number over to s to the fourth, I'd still be thinking s cubed. I just need to know how to produce 6 over s to the fourth, because that's where t cubed came from. So if I saw 12 over to s to the fourth, I'd think of it as 2 times 6 over s to the fourth. Factor out the 2, leave the 6 behind, that's 3 factorial. So this is 2 times the inverse Laplace transform of 3 factorial over s to the 4th. That's 2 times t cubed. Try one yourself. Do you know the Laplace transform of sine and cosine? So what if I asked you where this expression came from? It certainly looks like it's related to a sine or cosine with omega equals 2. But can you rewrite this? We're going to call it juggle the constants. Can you juggle the constants, rewriting this, so you can find that this is where 3s minus 5 over s squared plus 4 looks like, uh, looks, uh, came from. I was going to say my 5s look like s's, so be careful. This says 3s minus 5 over s squared plus 4.